This is a I only touch greatness remix. Scan the code and follow. Oh, this is greatness. This is four time Stanley Cup champion Darren McCarty, the Detroit Red Wings, coming up on a I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Hey, good. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but we uh, we had you on maybe two years ago, and you're absolutely, absolutely. And I look at uh, that's why it was cool when Nick uh, reached out to me. I was like, damn, yeah, hell. And you look at what you got five hundred and fifty some episodes. Like you guys are just killing it. Yeah, since then you were like episode like twenty or something back then. That's awesome, bro. How, everything else been good. Hey, you got my boy talking behind the bench. Yeah, you got I my see boy. That. You got my boy Heronic, So you're gonna love him. Actually, he's a, he's a great kid. Oh, okay. I was very disappointed in the in that trade, but I hope he's gonna be good. Yeah, no, I mean, like that's something that it was one of those things too good to be true on our end that you over. But I, but he's a guy that can be a top, you know, top two guy there or whatever. Like he's and he's a good guy. Like he's a you're gonna like him because he's a good he's a good dude. He's one of my favorite kids that I've come across, even when he was young. Okay, so uh, we're basically what happened last time is your camera didn't work for me and uh, our interview. I didn't really get too much publicity because I didn't push it too hard without having the camera view. So I might run through some of the same questions. Obviously, you're going to get that one question you get every interview about the Colorado. But well, it's it, it's the anniversary, right? This is yeah. like it's March, it's March 26 ish. So yeah. I mean, if St. Patty's Day comes around, and we got to talk about that because yeah, no, obviously, no, no worries, bro. Whatever you want okay. to talk about. I got actually have the E60 going on in the background here on at my house watching it. The okay, so born in Burnaby. Other than Joe Sackick, you must be the most famous one. Ah uh, ha ha! Yeah, Joe Joe Sackick, myself, and uh, Brady Leavell, right out of Burnaby General. So, okay. uh, so what was childhood like for you growing up then? Well, I, unfortunately, I didn't grow up out west. I moved back out east yep. to. Uh, to my grandparents with my mom when I was uh, six months old. So town of Woodsley. Now, I, when they say the town I grew up in, so I was born in Burnaby, my hometown is uh, Leamington. But the the town I till I was five years old when my mom got remarried, um, I lived in Woodsley, which is halfway. So just so everybody gets geography, the house that I grew up in, right, in Leamington, give or take, 10 minutes for the U.S. border took me 40 minutes to get to Little Caesars Arena. So I grew up pretty much like Detroit's step stepchild, right? Uh, grew up and I remember watching uh, the Red Wings in the 70s when they stunk, uh, but they were the Dead Wings, but uh, they were always my team. Lov lovable losers, I guess. So, uh yeah. Back then, then, then they got Stevie Y, and then they got Proby and Joey, and even though we still couldn't win, we could beat people up, so that was cool. I like yeah, that. I love that picture you got in the background there. Oh, so this is actually, it's a six-foot-tall, I thought it'd be a good backdrop. It's a six-foot-tall painting that I got. Um, that's me when we won in 97, uh, climbing the glass in the penalty box, and this guy right here is my neighbor. So oh. he got it painted for me. So he was he was my neighbor uh, when I lived back in in a suburb in Detroit. So uh, yeah, great memories. That's what it's all about. So you were a goalie too when you first started playing hockey, right? Well, that's why I can't skate. <laughs> I started in that, and usually they say goalies are the best skaters. That's yeah, not always the truth. But uh, that's my out to uh, why I couldn't. But I started off in that and um. Just found my way, found my way out. I was a catcher in baseball too, so I always like to be around the, the ball, the puck. So um, when I start, I guess when uh, see, because you know, growing up in Canada, things they're changed. So when you're growing up in like the, the late seventies, eighties, we could we could body check. So I mean, contact and stuff like that. That was right up my alley. So that's why I always loved hockey. When did you know you were going to take it serious? Oh, I, I was that kid that probably 10 years old, you know, okay. I, I was the one that always put, what do you want to be when you grow up? And 
you know, hockey player and everybody would say, well, you know, you got, you can't, not everybody, that's stupid and stuff like this. And I was like, all right, you think it's stupid. I'll show you. Cause you, you was know, really more about proving people wrong. Yeah. And you was really good at baseball. You were telling us last time. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I mean, that was my first love, but I realized when I was about 15 that I, that even though I could hit a hundred mile an hour fastball, I couldn't hit a curveball, and I was better at punching people in the face. So I think I made the right choice. Yeah, I think so too. Um, you spent your OHL career with the Belleville Bulls. Uh, what what do you remember about that? What's maybe one of your favorite memories of the old? That was awesome. So I, I had the great fortune of playing my junior career with Brent Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky's youngest brother. Yeah. And I mean, if you watch him play and he was a big point producer and he was a great player, it's, it's, you see the similarities in the way they skated and um, so I was fortunate that my last year junior, I, I always make the joke that, hey, Kirk Malpe, fellow grind line member, he had 50 goals his last year junior. I had 55 and I won player of the year and uh, was second in uh, Canadian, uh, CHL player of the year next to Corey Hurst. So not bad for a, a guy that wasn't drafted until the second round when he was 19. And um, I love Belleville. Uh, Larry Mavity, God rest his soul, was a huge influence and in the style that I play and old school mentality guys. So uh, guys like Jake Grimes, our goalie, Greg Dreveny, uh, who's involved at, uh, with the University of Alabama now. And uh, Jake Grimes is a coach uh, in Belleville still with the uh, Ottawa Senators farm team. So uh, just great, great dudes that I was able to play with and great time in Belleville. Yeah, you said Brett Gretzky there. And, uh, he also went on to be a Danbury Trasher. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the whole thing was, was, uh, with AJ. Was, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That was the cool, uh, the way that everything's connected. You think everything's so far apart, but it's not. So yeah, he was the big name draw and, and, and dude, uh, we still, uh, every few years we'll play NHL alumni together and, and get out there and, you know, mind you 35 years ago when we were playing junior. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we had AJ on the show, and that that movie was awesome. Like, the uh, oh, did you back in the OHL days? Uh, did you ever go and watch all the tall ships as a kid on the July long weekend? There was concerts and fireworks. Yeah, yeah. the 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 festival, the Quitty Fest, and stuff like that. Yeah, you've been been to it a few times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there wasn't. Uh, there was a great place in the summertime with the locks and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I got a friend from the Belleville that wanted me to ask you if you saw the ships and what your favorite. Oh yeah, was. no, you have to do. I think one one time you got to make it. It's one of those those things that if you have an opportunity, uh, you know, not too many times, so you got to make sure you see. It. I think we we made it a point to see it once. You're tuning into. I only touch greatness podcast. Vancouver's best show with Ryan Hayes. Often imitated but never duplicated. I only touch greatness podcast with Ryan Hayes. Looking for the most beers on tap. Great steaks. Great staff. Head over to the John B. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Say Hayes sent you.